LDBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Woo! That's right. I know y'all don't like that. <laughs> I know y'all don't like that either, but I just do it because I feel like it. And that's just the way that is. You know, I was happy today when I learned that one Vasil Lomachenko, he called out Javante Tank Davis. And I'm glad he did this because... As of now, nobody in boxing is getting a pass for ducking anybody. Nobody, okay? Nobody's getting a pass. Sorry. I got I, I, I to give it to Vasil, you know? The man got some testicles, okay? He's got some testicles because the man, you know, he's looking to fight one of the best guys at 130. That's Javante Tank Davis. I want to see the fight. I actually want to see that fight. This fight need to happen, okay? Floyd Mayweather cannot protect Javante Tank Davis from this guy. He can't do it. There's no way that he should even even be able to think to do something like that. Okay, they need to fight. They need to fight. And at the end of the day, I just want to see the best fight the best. You know, guys, when people come at me and they start talking about purses, they start talking about this date, that date, I, I'm really kind of immune to that. Like, I, I really just don't want to hear it. Okay, because I guess in boxing, I've just been used to a format you know I've been used to the same format and when you are used to something you know it, it's kind of almost like it becomes a habit you know like people get in a the habit they, they get so intoxicated about the numbers I think Javante Tank Davis and Lomachenko they need to fight okay and then Lomo once you know he you know physically clean out 130 then he need to go on up to 135 really I, okay these are the fights for Lomo that I want to see okay in this order I want to see him fight Javante Tank Davis first I want to see him fight Mikey Garcia, and then I want to see him fight Terrence Crawford. Those are the three people that I want to see him fight, and I want to see it in that order, okay? I want to see him fight it in that order, you know? I'd much rather him fight Terrence Crawford last because then it'll be a buildup. Now, see, then that's going to help build Terrence Crawford. Uh, that's going to help build Crawford's brand as well. So, see, you know, I'd rather him, you know, start in this order, Javante Tank Davis first, Mikey Garcia, and then uh, Terrence Crawford, Terrence Bud Crawford. That's my three, okay? That, that's how I want it. Because I think Lomo, I think he beats Mikey Garcia, okay? I think he defeats Mikey Garcia. I think he beats Tank, Tank Davis. But I don't think he can beat uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, okay? I don't think he can beat Bud Crawford. But he beats the other two. But the other two, the, the other two bouts, they're interesting matchups. Like, they're, they're good fights. And these are fights that I would dig in my pocket and pay. The sport of boxing lately, I ain't been paying for none of these things. I ain't been paying for none of these uh, pay-per-views. I ain't done nothing for a hot minute because the best ain't fighting the best. You know, I, I paid for Ward Kovalev. I paid for that. I bought that. But the rest of this nonsense, man, I didn't buy that crap. And, I'm, and I paid for Golovkins and Jacob. I paid for them. The rest of these fight cards, man, they're garbage. The rest of these fight cards are garbage, man. And that's what they are, garbage. So, you know, the sport of boxing, they ain't getting no more of my money, man. The sport of boxing ain't getting no more of my money unless it's really a fight against, you know, somebody I really want to see. The fight that I want to see, that's what I'm going to pay for. But I would love to see how he fares. I think Terrence Bud Crawford, I think he just, he got too many tools in the shed. Like, I think he got, he's got too much, man. He's got one too many weapons. And see, when you, gotta, you fight a guy with one too many weapons, it's just hard. Because, you know, Vassal, you know, he kind of likes to just throw a barrage of punches. And take all them angles. And I think Terrence Crawford, I think he'd be the guy to take them angles away. But it'll still it'll still be an intriguing matchup, man. It's a good fight. Nonetheless, it's a good fight because, man, you got two of the best fighters on the planet. Okay, right there in the ring. You know? You just, you can't beat it, man. You can't beat that. And I would much rather, man, see the best fight the best and see people with, lose, with losses than to see all these people with these undefeated records. And then, you know, you get a guy, he's untested. And then he comes into the ring. And, you know, he had been, he'd been untested for 20 fights in his career. But then he finally take a fight where, you know, he's actually tested and he go in there and get demolished. I don't like seeing that either, okay? I don't like seeing a guy with so much potential and so much promise, okay? I don't like seeing those guys get demolished because they managers or whoever, you know, whoever, you know, whoever they in good with, you know, they decide to take an easy road, pad, pad their resume. And then when it's time to really fight somebody worthwhile, they can't do it or they get in there and get thrashed because they've been fighting all these darn tomato cans. You know, when in actuality, you, you're supposed to build the fighter up slowly. Okay? You're supposed to build up your fighter slow. 
you're not supposed to have your fighter at this low level fighting low level competition and then when they finally get in there with somebody rough and rugged who not gonna really give a darn about anything that you do then you know they get in there and just and totally just lose it okay so these are good fights for Lomo, okay? I think this Tank Davis had fight, it need to have him ASAP. It need to have the best, need to fight the best, okay? It, it, you know, and people don't get this. When the best fight the best, do you not know that the fighters, they make money, okay? When the best fight the best. If every fighter got touted as fighting the best person in their division, I mean, do you know that, that how much money, the money will follow because then people will be like, hey, you know what, the sport of boxing, we're getting a lot of competitive matchups today. Wow, we're getting a whole lot of them. But you guys tell me what you think, okay? What do you think about my list of who Lomo ought to fight? I think, again, in my order, I think Lomo needs to fight first, um, Javante Tank Davis. Second, he needs to fight Mikey Garcia. Third, Terrence Crawford, okay? But, you know, it might be far-fetched, you know? Yeah, because y'all are asking him to move up a couple of weight classes uh, to do it. But you know what? <laughs> it's boxing, man. Guys move up in weight classes all the time. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris, and I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe.